Tesla is six years ahead of Toyota and Volkswagen. Tesla teardown finds electronics six years ahead of Toyota and Volkswagen. In a recent test by Japanese Nikkei business publication, the Tesla Model 3 was completely taken apart. As a result, they found that Tesla's electronics are six years ahead of Toyota and Volkswagen. Many things are electronically controlled in a car today. However, there is usually a separate control for each car component. For example, a modern Volkswagen or Audi does not have an onboard computer, but they have 80 or 100 smaller computers or electronic things like that. This has advantages because different suppliers can develop their systems independently of one another. The disadvantage is that central updates are not possible and the entire individual parts have to be controlled separately, coordinated. Tesla shows how it can be done differently. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you may receive my next news updates discussing Tesla Giga Berlin progress. And please like this video if you find this information interesting and helpful. Toyota Motor and Volkswagen each sell 10 million cars, give or take, every year. Tesla delivered about 367, 500,000 cars in 2019. But when it comes to electronics technology, Elon Musk's scrappy company is far ahead of the industry giants. This is the takeaway from Nikkei Business Publications teardown of the Model 3 the most affordable car in the United States automaker's all-electric lineup, starting all uh, at about $33,000. What stands out most is Tesla's Integrated Central Control Unit, or Full Self-Driving Computer, also known as Hardware 3. This little piece of tech is the company's biggest weapon in the burgeoning electronic vehicle market. It could end the auto industry supply chain as we know it. One stunt engineer from a major Japanese automaker examined the computer and declared Nikkei business publication rights. He said, we cannot do it. The module released last spring and found in all new Model 3, Model S and Model X vehicles includes two custom 260 square millimeter AI chips. Tesla developed the chips on its own, along with special software designed to complement the hardware. The computer powers the car's self-driving capabilities as well as their advanced in-car infotainment system. This kind of electronic platform uh, with a powerful computer at its core holds the key to handling heavy data loads in tomorrow's smarter, more autonomous cars. Industry insiders expect such technology to take hold around 2025 at the earliest. That means Tesla bet its rivals by six years. The implications for the broader auto industry are huge and for some people, frightening. Tesla built this digital nerve central through a series of upgrades to the original autopilot system it introduced in 2014. What was also called Hardware One was a driver assistance system that allowed the car to follow others, mostly on highways and automatically steer in a lane. Every two or three years, the company pushed the envelope further, culminating in the full self-driving control. There should be nothing stopping Toyota or Volkswagen from doing the same much earlier than 2025, considering their immense financial resources and vast talent pools. But technological hardware are not the reason for the delay. 
according to the Japanese engineer who said we cannot do it. The real reason for holding off? Automakers worry that computers like Tesla's will render obsolete the parts supply chains they have cultivated over decades, the engineer said. This is the real fear. They are worried about the supply chains they have cultivated over the decades. Such systems will drastically cut the number of electronic control units or ECUs in cars. For suppliers that depend on these components and their employees, this is a matter of life and death. So big automakers apparently feel obliged to continue using complicated webs of dozens of ECUs while we only found a few in the Model 3. Put another way, the supply chain that have helped today's auto giants grow are now beginning to hamper their ability to innovate. Young companies like Tesla, on the other hand, are not shackled to suppliers and are free to pursue the best technologies available. Nikkei's teardown underscored this in another way as well. Most parts inside the Model 3 do not bear the name of a supplier. Instead, many have the Tesla logo, including the sub-traits um, sub inside the ECUs. This suggests the company main, maintains tight control over the development of almost all key technologies in the car. Tesla maintains tight control almost over, over all key technologies in the car. And with this hardware in place, Tesla can evolve through over-the-air software updates. Right now, the vehicles are still classified as level two or partly autonomous cars. But Musk has stressed that they have all the necessary components, computer and otherwise, for full self-drying. This is just a matter of time, I, I guess. From software to electronic drive systems, Tesla is steadily bringing more development tasks in-house. If this strategy succeeds, competitors will have little choice but to follow suit, upending their old business models, supply chains, as they try to overcome Tesla's head start. So, as you can see, the traditional car makers, they have their supply chains. These supply chains have helped them to grow in the past. They have provided parts and small technologies that make these parts work in our cars. But as things are right now, these supply chains, the way they are set up, are slowing down the traditional automakers' progress their technological development, found this study by Nikkei Business Review. And it looks like the automotive, uh, the traditional automotive uh, companies like Toyota and Volkswagen feel like they are obliged toward these uh, supply chains that they have actually created over the time. But something needs to be changed. In order for them to change these things and come up with their own solutions, it will take six years to catch up to Tesla according to this study. On the other hand, Tesla has shown that things can be done differently. Tesla has shown that you can have your own development and only one computer that basically controls the car. And if you can send over the air uh, updates through that computer, you basically can update the entire car. Tesla showed this can be done differently. And this is what makes Tesla mainly ahead of its competitors by six years. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think other companies like Toyota, Volkswagen, or the other companies we didn't mention here, do you think they have the capacity? I'm sure they have, but do you think they can be able to shorten this interval of six years to shrink them and catch up with new technologies?
to have a centralized computer system in a car? Uh, or do you think, by, uh, let's say, by three years or four years, but take into consideration that Tesla will be ahead of them during this time, going from level two to level three, level four, and improving its own computer system? Let me know what you think. Let's have a discussion in the comments below. Please like this video, share with friends, subscribe to our channel, and visit us at torquenews.com. Have a blessed day, and I will see you in my next video, bringing more updates from Tesla, automotive industry, and the Giga, uh, Giga, uh, Giga Berlin, Gigafactory 4 in Berlin. Have a blessed day.